The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent stars Nick Cage, Pedro Pascal, Tiffany Haddish, and Neil Patrick Harris. The film is about Nicolas Cage going through a crossroads in his career, which is obviously no secret to anyone that has been a Nick Cage fan over the last 30 years. We witness Nick Cage go through a crossroads in his career where he's trying to nail the perfect role to get him back in the scene. Unfortunately, when he's hired by a big drug kingpin, played by Pedro Pascal, he becomes tangled up in a cat and mouse game between the CIA and the drug lords. And what happens? Well, obviously a lot of comedy. I laughed almost the entire way through this movie. And the fact that I got to see this with Nicolas Cage in the audience while premiering at South by Southwest added so much more to it. Pedro Pascal co-stars in this film as the drug kingpin who is the Nick Cage super fan. And he freaking crushed it. I would love to see Pedro Pascal perform more comedy and more comedy roles in the future. He does an excellent job. Tiffany Haddish is also in this as well. We didn't see her quite as often. She plays the CIA officer as well as Neil Patrick Harris, who does not play himself. Uh, actually, the only one that does play himself is Nick Cage. Normally, when you attend a South by Southwest film, you would normally see one or two of the actors and you'll see the creator and you'll see the writers and the directors and the producers and all of those people. But rarely do you see someone of the, uh, of the height of Nicolas Cage who wore this really badass suit on the red carpet. I didn't get a chance to interview him unfortunately, but he sat eight rolls ahead of me in the movie and that does raise the level of entertainment value when you're watching a movie. I really enjoy Nicolas Cage's ability to make fun of himself. And that's what it's really about. He's the only one playing himself. Neil Patrick Harris, you know, he makes an arrival on scene. When he shows up on screen, everyone automatically thinks, oh, he's playing, he's gotta be playing himself. It's Neil Patrick Harris because he is a recognizable actor. And that this, he's had a lot of comedy roles and you would think, oh, of course he's being himself, but he's not, he's playing his agent. Actually, the people that played in his family, they're not actually his family. so. They use actors to play <laughs> the surrounding cast of Nicolas Cage that did not play himself. So it was completely fine. It works. It also shows a dark side of Hollywood, to be honest. Like, we all know Nicolas Cage has gone through a rough time in the past couple decades. He was living on top for a long time, won an Oscar. And how many times do you see an, an actor that won an Oscar in the past go through a rough time? I think we see it a little more now than we used to. I think there's a stigma that sticks to actors that once you win that Oscar, well, should it just be smooth sailing? Well, with Nicolas Cage, I think it would have been, but he apparently he got in a lot of debt or something and he bought castles and dinosaur heads and all this stuff. And he got to a point where he really needed the money. Along with making a few bad decisions on a few films that didn't turn out to be the best career move. But hopefully this is like his ticket back. Like he's done some good films in the past 10 years, uh, films like Kick-Ass and others, but he doesn't do them very often. So I hope we see more top tier billing films with him um, because he is a talented guy and he's really funny. So I'm gonna give this movie four and a half stars. I was really close to giving it five, but there's a couple scenes where it just kind of drags on. There's this really funny scene actually, where um, he's constantly talking to himself. He He's dealing with his alter ego. Like the younger version of Nick Cage is in his prime. And then we have older Nick Cage who's struggling. And he's constantly arguing back and forth with the younger version of himself. And he does this, uh, this yell like, I am Nick. I'd watch the movie just to see those scenes all the time. So the movie comes out this weekend in theater, so make sure you go see it and come back for more. We have a few more films from South by Southwest to review, as well as a lot of other content coming out throughout the spring and the summer. So stay tuned, click that subscribe button for more. 
and we'll be back with more on the bench session.